honestly, you know, we knew it was going to be a big, big game, big team. Cali came in, they, and they just got got on us right off the bat. We had no answers, and you know, to be honest, they they outclassed us coaching on the field, off, and everything. So it is what it is, and you know, we're gonna have to deal with it, respond to it, and see where see see if we can move forward. If, uh, we gotta hope this is ground zero. Now we gotta start moving forward. Physically <laughs> took us to us on the offensive line, defensive line. They were pushing us, and uh, you know, we just didn't have any answers today. And uh, you know, it, it's discouraging. It, it's reality, and you know, as I said, but we got to march forward. And the great thing is, no one's going to feel sorry about the Saskatoon Hilltops, and we certainly can't feel sorry for ourselves. We, we deserve this. We got to deal with it, and then and we got to figure out how to change this. And you know, the good thing about football now we got to get ready for the Edmonton Wildcats because they're going to be pretty excited to come out and play us too. Uh, yeah, you bet. Humbling experience for sure. Um, you know. The, the vibe coming into this year around the league was that uh, you know the Hilltops were going to have a down year and stuff like that, uh, but and we didn't feel like that was the case. But uh, you know Calgary just showed us you know who the top team in the league is right now, and uh, we got some work to do. Sure. Like Certain players just aren't ready, you know, to do what we expect them to do. We put them in the spots, and uh, so that's the first thing is going to get reevaluated. You know, I'm not worried about anybody else. I'm just worried about us right now. And so we got to get this roster solidified. It's been spotty all, you know, for the first three games. And you know, more than obvious today, when you play a team that's better than you and, and they coach better, you, you, uh, all your weaknesses show up in a hurry. And, and that was the case. ourselves in the foot many times in this game, you know, myself included. We got to be better. We, we were beating ourselves, you know, we were down, what, 36-0, something like that. It shouldn't have been the case. Our defense is playing well. Offensively, we, 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 can't, we can't have those mistakes against a good team. That feels good. I mean, more than anything, it gives us the two points, and uh, we're three and zero right now. And we only get to play uh, the Hilltops one time this year, so it's kind of like a four-point game in a way that way. So uh, yeah, just really proud of our effort. And um, you know, we had to hang on a little bit at the end there. Uh, you know, the Hilltops started playing the way they play, and and uh, made it a game. But uh, you know, it was a good start, and uh, I like the way we came out. You know, we started to play a little bit more like I, I guess I thought we'd play at the on the opening whistle. You know, we got a chance to pedigree here. We're, we're used to winning. We're used to winning on our field. And so, you know, what took place today is, is abnormal. It's disappointing. And uh, as I said, quite frankly, I'm embarrassed for what, what I saw today. I, tell, I don't know what happened. We are all of a sudden, we were a different football team in the fourth quarter. But, you know, our discipline, uh, I thought, was great for three quarters of the game. And then all of a sudden, there was laundry all over the field. But... That's the key against this team, especially here, you know, in Saskatoon. You got to be a disciplined team, and and I thought we we're discipline-wise as far as the referees and discipline to our assignments. So you got to be disciplined if you're going to win here.